Ever wondered how you can learn coding in just four months? Well, your journey starts with discovering a passion for problem solving. It's like kindling a fire within you, a fire that fuels your thirst for untangling complex scenarios, for finding efficient solutions to intricate problems. It's about sparking an interest, a curiosity that will drive you to explore the vast world of coding. Consider it a quest, a quest to understand the logic behind cool apps, fancy websites, or even the games you love. You can start by playing around with coding puzzles and games, they're fun and engaging, and they'll give you a taste of what coding is all about. So, dive into this exciting world, get your hands dirty with some code, and let your passion for problem solving grow. It will be your guiding star on this journey. Once you've found your passion for problem solving, it's time to choose your weapon of choice, your programming language. Choosing a programming language can feel like a daunting task, but for this journey, we will focus on C-Hash. Why C-Hash, you ask? Well, let's dive right into it. C-Hash is like the Swiss Army knife of programming languages. Versatile, powerful, and incredibly useful. It's a fantastic starting point for beginners, offering a clear and straightforward syntax that's easy to grasp. On top of that, C-Hash is a statically typed language which means it catches errors early, making your coding journey that much smoother. But the real beauty of C-Hash lies in its wide range of applications. From building dynamic websites, mobile apps, to game development with Unity, C-Hash opens up a world of possibilities. It's backed by Microsoft, ensuring that it's constantly updated and supported. So, whether you're looking to crack into the tech industry or just exploring coding as a hobby, C-Hash offers a solid foundation. Now that you've chosen C-Hash, it's time to start practicing. Practice makes perfect, and that's especially true when it comes to coding. Now how do you practice coding effectively? Let's discuss some key strategies. First, consider daily coding challenges. These are bite-sized problems that help you hone your skills in a manageable way. Sites like CodeSignal or LeetCode offer a plethora of these challenges, and they're an excellent way to keep your coding skills sharp. Next up is pair programming. This is a method where two coders work together on the same code. One person, the driver, writes the code, while the other, the navigator, reviews each line. This method is fantastic for learning new strategies and approaches, as it allows for immediate feedback and collaboration. Remember the goal isn't just to write code but to write good, efficient code, and that only comes with practice and continuous learning. So don't shy away from challenges, embrace them. As you practice, you'll start to build a portfolio of your work. A portfolio is more than just a collection of your work. It's a showcase of your skills and progress. Picturing your portfolio as a visual resume, it's a powerful tool that has the potential to make you stand out in a crowd of coders. It's not merely about the quantity of projects you've done but about the quality and diversity of those projects. You see, your portfolio tells a story. Your story. It shows your journey from an aspiring coder to a competent one, highlighting the milestones you've crossed and the obstacles you've overcome. It reflects not only your technical prowess but also your creativity, problem-solving skills, and dedication. Now let's delve into how to build this portfolio. Firstly, it's imperative to select projects that demonstrate your skills effectively. This doesn't mean you should only include complex projects. Even simple ones can showcase your understanding of coding principles. The key here is to include a variety of projects. Consider starting with a few beginner-friendly projects. For instance, you could build a basic calculator, a to-do list application, or a simple game. These will help you cement your understanding of C-Hash and give you a taste of creating functional applications. As you grow more comfortable, gradually take on more challenging projects, build a database-driven application, or perhaps a small web-based game. These projects will showcase your ability to handle larger, more complex tasks. Remember, each project you include should serve a purpose. It should highlight a particular skill or set of skills. Also, don't hesitate to include projects that didn't turn out perfectly. They provide evidence of your problem-solving skills and your ability to learn from your mistakes. Finally, as you compile your portfolio, be sure to include a brief description of each project. Explain what the project is, what it does, and what coding principles or techniques you used. This will give potential employers or clients a clear understanding of your capabilities. With a portfolio under your belt, you're ready to continue your learning and development. Yes, it's a continuous journey, but remember, every step you take is a step closer to your goal. Happy coding. Learning coding is a journey, not a destination. There's always more to learn and ways to improve. In the vast universe of coding, there's always a new constellation to discover, a new planet to land on, and that's the beauty of it. The moment you grasp one concept, 
another one peeks around the corner inviting you to explore further. But don't be overwhelmed, this constant evolution is what keeps coding exciting and fresh. Now you might be asking, how can you keep up with this ever-changing landscape? Well there are a ton of resources out there to help you navigate through your coding journey, let's dive into a few. First up, online courses are a great way to keep your skills sharp and up to date. Platforms like Coursera, Udemy, and Khan Academy offer a wide range of courses, from beginner level to advanced topics, in nearly every programming language you can think of. And the best part? You can learn at your own pace from the comfort of your own home. Next, don't underestimate the power of a good coding book. While it may seem old school, books provide a deep dive into specific topics that you might not get from a video tutorial or online course. Plus, they're a great reference to have on hand when you're stuck on a tricky problem. And finally, don't forget about programming communities. Websites like Stack Overflow and GitHub are treasure troves of knowledge filled with seasoned coders who are more than willing to lend a helping hand. It's a great way to learn from others, share your own discoveries and even make connections in the coding world. Remember, the key to mastering coding isn't about knowing everything. It's about being curious, being open to learning, and not being afraid to make mistakes. So don't rush. Take your time to understand each concept, practice regularly, and never stop exploring. Your journey doesn't stop here. Keep practicing and before you know it, you'll be a coding hero. Success doesn't come overnight. It's the result of hard work, determination, and a lot of coding. Coding isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. It's a journey of a thousand lines of code, each one bringing you closer to your goal. Think about the countless coders who started from absolute zero. They didn't wake up one day knowing how to code in C-hash or any other language. They started with a simple, hello world, and kept going. They persevered through every bug, every error, and every failed attempt. It's the same for you. Every line of code you write, every problem you solve, you're becoming a better coder. You're paving your own path to success. It's not about where you start but where you end up. It's about the journey and the incredible person you become along the way. Remember, the only limit to your success is your own determination. From zero to hero, that's the journey you're embarking on. We've traveled a fascinating path together, unmasking the secrets of coding. It's imperative to remember that the crux of this journey lies in the discovery of your passion. When passion becomes your driving force, even the most complex programming languages like c -hash become conquerable challenges. Dedication to consistent practice is the backbone of mastering any skill, coding is no exception. Building a robust portfolio is an essential milestone, showcasing your progress and the tangible results of your hard work. Remember, learning and development are ongoing processes. They don't stop after four months or even four years. Coding, like any other field, evolves and staying updated is the key to success. Practicing programming isn't just about writing code, it's about problem solving, creativity and innovation. Are you ready to start your coding journey? The world of coding awaits.